NCM Learning Center. Friends, I am going to solve yeah, operational amplifier problems in which the practical data bias current and observed current is given. Okay. Already I posted three problems related with the ideal operational amplifier concepts. Okay. When you watch the videos, doubts may arise. If you feel your doubts, watch the already posted videos or just comment the videos. Definitely you will get the answers for the doubts. Okay. Now we will go for the problems. Here the problem is given uh, in which bias current, bias current is 200 microampere and offset current is 20 microampere is given. Okay. Uh, for ideal case, for ideal case, the current flow through the minus terminal and plus terminals are both are zero. But practical case, there is some current flows towards the minus terminal and plus terminals. Okay. Let us take the current flow through the minus terminal as I minus and plus terminal as I plus. Okay. The difference between ideal case and practical case, ideal case I minus is equal to I plus is equal to zero, but practical case I minus is not equal to zero. Similarly, I plus is not equal to zero. Okay. So, uh, what is mean by bias current? The bias current means the average current, the average current of I minus and I plus. Okay. Bias current is average current of I plus and I minus. There is a definition, definition behind that. Okay. So, uh, mathematically, we represent the bias current, the average I plus plus I minus by 2. Okay. Then, offset current. The offset current is the difference between the current I plus and I minus. That is the definition. So, offset current is difference of I plus and I minus. Okay. So, bias current is given I plus plus I minus by 2 is equal to 200 microampere. From that, we may write I plus plus I minus is equal to 400 microampere. Okay, offset current is given. We know that offset current is difference. Difference of I plus and I minus. So I plus minus I minus is equal to 20 microampere. Okay, from the two equations, from the two equations, by solving the two equations, we can get the I plus and I minus. Okay, I plus is 210 microampere and I minus is 190 microampere. Okay, by solving the two equations, we can get. Okay. For the operation amplifier, the first step is to calculate the V plus. Okay, V plus. We have to calculate the V plus. For the ideal case, the I plus is zero. Okay, there is no trap across 1K ohm resistors. So, V plus will be 4 volt. But in practical case, the I plus 210 microampere current flows through the 1 kilo ohms. So, definitely there is a drop across the 1K ohm resistors. Okay, the remaining voltage will be V plus. Okay, so by Ohm's law, we can calculate the V plus. Uh, we know that Ohm's law I is equal to V1 minus V2 by R. Okay, here I plus I plus is equal to 210 microampere. V1 is equal to 4 volt. V2 is equal to V plus. The rest is 1K. Okay, this is Ohm's law. I is equal to V1 minus V2 by R. Okay, by solving, by solving the equations, by simplifying the equations, V plus, we can calculate the V plus. V plus is equal to 3.79 volt okay the second step is v plus is equal to v minus because the feedback circuits so virtually feedback circuits virtually connected so v plus is equal to v minus equal to 3.79 volt okay the final step is we have to calculate the v out by applying kcl at the minus terminal okay calculation of v out just apply the kcl at the minus junction terminal we can calculate the v out Okay, so here this current flow 2 minus V minus by 1K. The outgoing currents V minus minus V out by 2K plus I minus 190 microampere. Micro sum of incoming current is equal to sum of outgoing current. Okay, just uh, uh, substitute V minus values in the equations. We can get, okay, by simplifying the equations, we can get the answer as 7.75 volt. Okay, thank you.